because there was just that message. Uh, you weren't open yet, you couldn't see me yet, but I followed them into the building because I needed to talk to them today. <laughs> he hasn't been gone very long either. Do you understand it? He feels fatherly to me. Is he a father for you, honey? He has his hands on the back of your chair and he's like, this is my daughter. Do you understand it? Go for it. How are you guys connected? Good, because I heard these are my girls. Do you understand it? And I just felt all this love from him. He's really happy about talking to you guys. He said I needed to make sure I was able to talk to them, tell them the reason they're here. There's so much I have to say to them. I'll let him call him Rami. <laughs> call me Rami, it's what I prefer. Because he walks in and said, hi Kelly, I'm Ronald. So he just joined the room. So all those other names, those loved ones can hold their energy, they can wait. So I had to be brought to her mom, Barbara, and her daughter, and then him, and then we'll go across, okay? I'm like, how are you there, honey? He said, 29 again, tell him. So he's the only <laughs> chick. His soul chose to be 29. But when I heard him say Ronald, I heard some people call me Ronnie. You can call me Ronnie because it's what I love. Do you understand it? Okay. There's two or three ancestors lining up behind him. If they start to tell me the names or start to feel health issues, it'll just be an added blessing. But I'm not going to take away from him being that person because he's the reason you're here. But if they think you back and honor anything for me, I'll, I'll validate things, okay? But as I'm talking to him and all these souls start to line up behind him, I feel really sick with cancer. Oh my God. He's making me feel the cancer. Do you understand it? So he just completely wiped me out. I'm feeling really nauseous to my stomach. And he's like, how cancer? So I always want them to give me their name, their health, well, their age, they are on the other side. We'll get into his personality for a little bit. A little bit of stubbornness, I can feel it. Look, I have to be loving and polite, because he's like, Kelly, it was more than a little bit. <laughs> so he did it. He's talking about still having the ring. You still have the ring, honey? But it's perfect, good. That's great, because you're wearing it. Even if you're wearing it on your thumb, it's his way of saying he's happy to have the ring. He's also told me he hasn't been long very long. How long has he been past work, honey? Two months. See my fingers? Good. Means under the year. They're saying very recent, especially since he's only been gone a couple weeks, but they'll always make me feel they're under a year. Do you understand it? He's past that big two month transition of really getting soul settled on the other side. So once they get past two months, they'll either say under six or under a year. Do you understand it? Wonderful. Are you guys worried about him coming through because he just passed? Okay, good. I know one or both of you were, so if you were wondering if he'd be able to come through, I can communicate with them within hours. So you guys never have to worry about that. Um, he's really happy. He's telling me he wasn't expecting, I'm gonna put my chair over here. As long as you guys can hear me, that's all that matters. He's saying to me, um, he never expected the diagnosis. It just means he never thought he would get the diagnosis with the cancer, honey. Do you understand, Kelly? I never expected that diagnosis. I thought I would be with him for so many more years than I got. He's telling me he fought as much as he could. He's like, I started to give up towards the end. He said, but I fought to stay as long as I could because I didn't want to leave my girls. Do you understand it? That's great. He's starting to ship pennies. He said, I'm starting to send pennies. And if you have already been found, I'm looking right at you with this, honey. Good. And I heard two have been found already. Good. So whether that's you other people, I just know he's starting to leave them. Being told to have been found. I've been sending hawks as well, tell them that's another time from me. I send hawks all the time, they circle the house all the time. Oh my, my wife wondered if it was me, tell her it is. Do you understand it? Good. There's a happy belated birthday for September. He said, I'm so happy, Kelly, that I was able to be there in September for that last birthday. Do you understand him saying that? That's a really great validation. That means a lot to him. He's given happy early birthday for February as well. He said, I'll be there in February. Do you understand that, honey? Kind of. Did you guys think necklaces, or have you thought about the necklaces? Because he's mentioned about the necklaces. Somebody's thought about it. Please ask, okay? Remember, there's other people missing him. It could even be a uh, passing thought for someone who wants to give that to you as a gift, and he just wants you guys to know that he's guiding. Doesn't always have to be cremation ashes. Do you understand it? It can just be memory necklaces in honor. It's his way of saying 
He's given a blessing if that's chosen. So just means it's crossed somebody's mind or heart. That will make sense later. This is why I welcome the recording, because I do understand everything he's given so far. He's telling you that he was happy that you're by his side. I know how hard it was for them to say goodbye to me, especially the words when they told me it was okay to let go. I know that was difficult for them, but I couldn't hear them, even in the last moments when I couldn't respond. Do you understand it? So if you're wondering if you could hear everything, I can blow you guys kissing him and hugging him. I feel like I want to pick him up and like lay in bed with him. Do you understand it? So I know that some of that was happening just before the passing. And he's saying to me, you guys could, um, that he could feel your love. He could hear you guys saying to you, um, that you loved him and that was okay to go. But he's saying to me, he wishes he could have said more. He was already seeing the other side of the lane. So they're telling me that he was already starting to see the other side before he took those last breaths, which is wonderful, because he's just trying to give you peace. There were five souls there to greet him. The very first person that was there greeting him was his grandmother on his mom's side. So his mom's mom. She was the first one there to greet him, and that's okay. And not being told who the other four souls are, because if they start to step in, I'll miss anything else. Do you understand it? And it's really about him today, especially since he's only been gone around two minutes. He'll hold his energy as long as he can, but it's just about starting the peace. But he's still really great. He says there's things in the house that haven't moved since he kept them there. So I know that there's things that you haven't moved that you left him exactly where he left them, just because you're still honoring him. Because that's hard for him. As I keep hearing about deciding about keeping the car or getting rid of it. Oh my God. Can we talk about what we're going to do with the car, girls? That's all I heard. What are we going to do with the vehicle? So I know you're in the process of making that decision. Do you understand him saying that? Are you back and forth about that still? Because mm -hmm. I can feel this seesaw. And he said, Kelly, one day she wants to sell it, the next day she wants to keep it. She doesn't know what to do. He's picking on you a little bit. Look, he's saying to me, it's okay that you don't make that decision now because he knows your heart isn't fully ready for it. He's only been going a few short weeks, honey. So it's okay for you to be a little bit more patient with yourself and give yourself a little bit more time. You don't have to decide haste and haste because he doesn't want you to regret the choice that you make. So just be patient with yourself and do a little bit at a time, honey, okay? Good. He said he supports either decision, so he's going either way. So if you're wondering what he thought, or you're in this decision about making what you feel is going to be the best choice, and he's not here to give the advice, he's giving it to me now. That's wonderful. But I just know on a heart level and on a soul level, you need to be 100% when you make that decision, so there's no regret. So it's his way of saying it's okay for you to take a little bit more time. That's a great application. I love that. He's also mentioning about the thought of planting the tree. Do you understand that? Good. Even if it hasn't been done, I heard, I know the tree's going to be done in my honor. So if you thought about planting a tree in honor him, honey, wonderful. Even if it's not until the spring or summer, he said, Kelly, I know the tree's going to be done in my honor, and that means a lot to me. I said, is there a certain tree you would like for them to plant? I prefer pine or maple. <laughs> like, okay, I'll tell them. That's what he said, I prefer pine or maple. Because if you guys are making those decisions about trees or certain landscaping or think about putting flowers in, but you have these questions, I'll let them give their choice or advice from the other side. So it's your decision. So he's like, pine or maple would be nice. Call my daughter. And I said, I hear you. He's a really big angel for you. And he's telling me that he can hear you talk to him in the car. And I know he's already using music to connect with you guys, because he's like, I'm already using music. Look at my wife with this. She's already hearing our songs. Do you understand it? Good. And that doesn't always have to get into that exact wedding song. It can be songs that honor your relationship, songs that meant a lot to you, as far as the years you guys spent. He's already talking you through music, especially the past couple weeks. This one has been the strongest. He has a lot of sarcasm. <laughs> yes. Do you understand it? Look, and he has a grandmother standing behind him. I can feel his grandmother that was there to greet him, so I know they both were. His granddad came from dad's side, though. His grandmother came from mom's side. 
They were the two ancestors to create him. They tell me the other three people that's great, but he saw his grandmother on his mom's side, his mom's mom. Remember how I said there was five people, she was that first soul. But everything smells like beer. <laughs> Do you understand it as I'm talking to him? Okay, we'll leave that alone. But, and that just doesn't have to do with things that were enjoyed here. It's about people already starting to celebrate him. So he's hearing the toast and the things that people say, which is really great. So I love that. He is saying to me that when you're ready, it's okay to go through the drawers of the clothes. Oh and whatever is a cap, it's okay for you to give to somebody who could use things that needs it. Do you understand it? So I know there's going to be pieces that you keep and pieces that you don't. And it's just his way of giving it, saying anything you guys choose not to keep, give it to someone in need. That's wonderful validation. He's so sweet. He said, I always did everything I could for them, Kelly. I always put them first in every way possible. Do you understand it? Good. He said, sometimes it wasn't easy. Because a lot of days I gave them that. <laughs> Do you understand me saying that? Good. But he did everything he could to love you guys, which is so great. Um, now remember, his grandfather's behind him. Do you understand why I'm seeing the cowboy boots? How do you understand that, honey? He just set the cowboy boots right beside me. It's so interesting to me. Please ask about this, because remember, with him having grandparents behind him, great grandparents, that could be something that somebody still has um, pieces of that for one of his grandfathers. And it doesn't always have to be the whole set of boots. It could be part of the leather, part of the soles. It could be somebody has just one of them, or somebody kept them for some time, and his grandfather wants to say thank you, even if they're not still within the family. That's a message to share. But I do hear there's a pair of cowboy boots or remnants that were kept for many years within the family. So they're just thankful. Just something extra I'm catching, honey, because it's not for mommy, but I still have to stop and honor because he's helping and support him. And I know you guys don't know a lot about him, but that's okay. No worries. He's so fun. He shut my mom's down. It's more about what he went through in the end. Do you understand it? Because the cancer had spread so fast, and I know it was starting to affect his breathing. So it's just his way of saying, the last breaths were difficult, and he's how you guys were there for support. So it's nothing to do with cancer being fully engulfed in the lungs. It's more about the breathing issues. But I, when I started to talk to him, I feel like I'm going through this last moment. I feel like I can barely catch my breath. And he's putting all this pain and pressure across my chest. So he's just making me feel the same moments. They kept him from feeling um, a majority of the pain that he could have. So it's just his way to make you thankful for that. And part of that was the little ones that were there to greet him as well. So just know that there was a big struggle with the breath, and I could feel the oxygen was just dropping, even well before the last breath was taken. So it just means, as far as the oxygen was concerned, he was already struggling a little bit. It's just his way of making me feel what he was going through in the end, because he's happy you guys were there. Do you understand all that? Because I can feel the shallow breathing a little. He's so sweet. She doesn't want to change anything, but she's also thought about making changes to the house. Tell her it's okay. Do you understand what I'm saying that, honey? She's afraid to change anything. She wants to keep everything the way it was left because of the years we celebrated together. But I know she's also thinking about making some changes. Even though I've only been here for a couple weeks, Kelly, tell her it's okay. Do you understand it? So it just means it's his way of giving the blessing to move forward. If you're already thinking about changes or if there's changes you guys had talked about eventually making around the house, it's his way of saying it's okay and he, he wants to see you through that even though it's from the other side. It's just a reminder that even if he's not physically here, he's with you in spirit and he's going to support some of those decisions and choices as well. I have him just a few more minutes. He's doing great. He's doing so great. He'll get stronger, but he's doing really great for only gone a couple weeks. Um, do, you, do you guys understand the date of October 11th? Gosh, I got so many October dates tonight. I'm going to leave that for you because there's a reason why I got it. Because remember, there's older ancestors with them. Sometimes instead of getting their names, I'll catch their soul dates. So another reason why I welcome recording. Remember how I said there's several souls with him? Somebody had either birthday or passing date of October 11th. So I'll honor that for you, okay? 
He's also talked to me about the thought of the bench or placing the bench. Okay, just needs to cross somebody's heart to eventually do that for him. There's other people missing him, including his son and family as well. So I'll leave that for you guys, okay? He just said, Kelly, bench will eventually be done for me. So I just know it's already across somebody's heart. And it can be something that you guys decide to do as a family. It can even be something that you end up putting under the tree that's planted. So that's wonderful validation. I love that. And then he just said, it's okay for them to cut my t-shirts apart. Do you guys understand that? He said, tell my wife, it's okay to cut my t-shirts apart. <laughs> so if you've been thinking about taking his clothes and turning them to other things, and whether you've been cutting the t-shirts already or if it's something you thought about, he wants to make sure that you know that he's helping you. That's a great validation. He said, I'm actually helping them to make that decision, Kelly, and as my t-shirts are going through and things are cut apart, I'm helping to decide what goes where. <laughs> So trust while you're guided with like what you put where, because I feel like they're cutting squares with like the patchwork. Do you understand it? Good. So it's just his way of validating that's what you're going to create, and I can feel him actually kind of guiding. So he wants to be a part of that from the other side, because he knows that um, it's done in honor for him. That means a lot. Also, keep hearing about the shadow boxes or the bottom naked shadow boxes. Okay, that's coming too. Remember how I said, it's not always things you guys have done. It's things thought about or them giving you ideas because there's things you guys are going to want to display and it's just him giving guidance from the other side. So he's saying to me, shadow boxes will eventually be done. That's for you and your daughter, honey, okay? That's perfect. I also hear him saying a happy 32nd. And that could be birthday or anniversary, but he's giving a happy 32nd. And that could be friends or family, so I'll leave that. It can be an anniversary he just missed uh, right after his passing or one coming. And I heard Kelly say happy 32nd. So I'll honor that for you, okay? I know that'll make sense later. He's happy. Do you have children, honey? Yeah, because he just keeps saying to me he's so happy he had a chance to be a grandfather. How many children do you have, honey? Two? Okay. He's watching over both of them. He's got soul assignment with your youngest though. Because they'll tell me who they have soul assignment with on the other side, and I heard he has soul assignment with the youngest. Do you understand it? Good. How are, is your youngest pretty young? How old's your youngest, honey? Six. Six. Perfect. Good. Um, they said over five, because my guys are telling me Kelly's a child over five, so I know that child's between five and ten. Do you understand? Good. Perfect. So I just have to feel that stage of their growth that is somewhere between five to 10 years old. So I know if they're open to spirit or not. Your dad's trying to make connections with the children. Even if it's just a dream state, I just want you to be open to that. If your youngest starts to say things that start to sound like your dad, Ronnie, honor it, honey, okay? Because even if he's watching over both children and I can hear him saying mama too, He's soul assigned to that youngest that's just past five years. So the veil is very thin and turn around the age of four or five, so that's why I had to ask. Because my guys are like, Kelly's a child over five, so they can make me feel it. So I'm children that are over four or five can still be open to spirit sometimes. Not as strong as some of the younger ones, but I know that he's making connections with your youngest. So it's just something that I know he's going to use as a connection with both children, but especially your youngest child. So it's just something for you to watch for, honey, okay? I'll send them signs to Kelly, and I'm like, you will? Yes, Kelly, frogs. <laughs> <laughs> so if you understand the frogs, he says he's already been sending them. So I'm going to leave that for you. It's a rare sign, I don't get it often, but he's like, I'm going to send them frogs. I've been sending them the past couple weeks. I'm like, all right, honey. So just watch for them. Do you understand it? Okay. But he's saying to me he was always proud of watching you as a mom. I can feel him being so proud as a grandfather. Is there other grandchildren as well? One that passed. Okay, good. Because I just keep hearing um, there's other grandchildren besides the two I'm mentioning. Do you understand it? Wonderful. He's honoring about that child being with him as well. That's what he's trying to do. Do you understand it? And I heard the baby's with me, the baby's with me. Do you guys understand that? 
good for Ben. So he's just trying to give you peace, honey. And do you understand the miscarriage as well? There's a miscarriage too. Ah, oh, okay. Let me pass this, honey, okay? It's his bloodline. It has nothing to do with the two of you. Early pregnancy under three months, five to six weeks pregnant, baby boy. I'm going to pass that and leave that. Because remember, that could be a miscarriage for his mom, miscarriage for siblings. I just keep hearing him say there's more than one child with him, and I can feel the soul of the miscarriage, and it would have been a baby boy in his family. So I just hear him saying to me, he has the baby. Do you understand it, honey? That's important. So he's just honoring about the miscarriage as well. Let me listen. I'm going to have him for a few more minutes, and we'll wait and see if I get that child in a little bit. He's doing great. He's like, Kelly, I wish I could talk to you all night. I'm like, I know, honey, because I can already feel his energy a little depleted. But be patient with him. He'll get stronger. There's always going to be things for him to say to you guys. I love that he gave about the music and um, the pattern that you're using with the clothes and wearing his ring and the tree. He's done a really incredible job. He, he just keeps acknowledging to me to really tell you guys that if he could have stayed, he would have. He said, they know that. They know how much I love them, but I need them to hear that from me from here. And so they're here, you honey. And he's saying to me, he's happy he still have his voice. So you have his voice recording, and he's telling me you listen to it all the time because it's been difficult for you. That's very private and personal, so I love that he just said that. Because he's like, she has my voice. Um, there's days that it's played a couple times a day. Just because it's hard for her not to have me there, not to kiss me goodnight, for me not to be in the house, to not to be in that partnership. And he's saying to me that he was happy he had you. <laughs> She always made me want to be a better man, and I always tried to be the man that she deserved. That's what he just said. That's pretty great. I love that he just said that. I just had to stop and let him talk through me and channel. Um, but I do know, as you're listening to his voice, because you're missing that so much, I know it's giving you comfort, honey. He's seeing you repetitively um, play the voice recording just to give you guys continued peace. And please remember, that doesn't always have to be on your phone. It could be old videos, old movies. I just know that that connection's always there for you guys, okay? For you hoping and praying they would get this message. Because I hear your family's here, but they wanted to make sure I got him first. And did you ask them to make sure he came through? Yes. So fingers crossed I get them in a little bit, honey. We'll wait and see. If I do, I do. If I don't, that's okay. I just hear your family behind Ronnie saying, please tell her to understand that we gave up for him and we're doing what she asked us to do. So they heard you when you said, make sure you bring him through or have him come through first. They did that and they're honoring you. And they're keeping that promise, which is wonderful. All right, let me get this last minute from him. He did great. He did so great. I love all the personal private things for you guys. He did wonderful. Now, I do feel like there's more for him to say, but he's starting to lose his energy, so be patient. So as you guys are seeing videos and full service to God, that's all that matters, he will eventually pick up where he left off today, okay? So I know that there's going to be other messages waiting. He said, thank you, Kelly, so much for helping me. There's a long line of people behind me. I just wanted to make sure that they could start to have some peace. He said the past couple weeks have been really hard for them. And I'm just trying to let them know I'm still here. And I'm loving them through it. Tell them I love them again. There he goes. He did such a great job. He did so great. I see him with facial hair, by the way. <laughs> He's like, you tell her I cut my facial hair here. Because <laughs> I can see him clear as day. Like my group last night, I feel like my group last night, who, uh, Lost her cousin Len, he came through. 